Um, here's some ideas on making a little light box. I, I made one for this company here, Sunset Screen Printing. I've already taken their logo and made it into an SVG, uh, you know, cleared everything out in there. Um, it's 1.5 millimeters and it's going to sit on a white, um, uh, you know, white one millimeter um, uh, filament so that the white will show through the letters there. So, but here's how you're going to make the box portion of it. Uh, we're going to select it and hit control D. And when you hit control D to duplicate, it's really there. It's just, they set it on there. So you're not really sure, you know, unless you just look for it, but control D, we're going to export it as an SVG. And then we're going to turn around and import it. Always center it on art, not artboard. And we'll do an import. And there we go. Okay, so now we've got uh, an object. I actually have two. Remember the one that was still there? I'm going to delete him so that we've got our. This is our original, and this is our, um, our, our SVG that we just created. Uh, we want this guy to sit in, um, we're going to make him a silhouette because we want him, uh, he's going to be the uh, white part of it there. It'll go all the way up on quality. Yeah. Okay, so it like, totally fills him in. I'm going to change this to white so we can kind of keep things uh, different. We'll make him one millimeter. Okay. So now you see, you know, you can set that guy right on top, and then that way the, the light will come through. Okay, so we've got our, um, you know, original. We need him. We've got, this is the piece you're going to, when you're done, you'll put him on here, align it, and then export it as a uh, STL, because that's what you're going to print. You're going to print a, uh, you know, a one and a half millimeter black on top of a uh, one millimeter, maybe let's go make this two. Really depends on the LEDs that you get. Okay, so now let's make a box. So we've got our, these are our tops. So now we're going to make a box. So we're going to take this one. Uh, we're going to duplicate him. And we're going to make him an outer, oops, an outer line. So now we've got this outer this outer line piece. And I think I'm going to make him maybe like a two millimeter uh, line width. We're going to do the outer line uh, rounded two millimeters. Okay, so now we've got this is going to be the, kind of the basis for our box. Um, we still have our, our uh, object here. So let's create another copy of him. We're going to control D and we're going to drag him down here. We're going to select both. We're going to hit L for a line, center, and we're already on center on that one. Um, so that's good. That's uh, that gives us the. This is going to be the back of the box. Let's kind of color code some stuff here. Um, so we're going to take this outer piece. I think yeah, um, and we're going to make him say I don't know how big your box is going to be. Let's make it up. Struck 25. Okay, so now we've got this uh, this box here. So now what you're looking for is a little ledge to put on so that you can kind of sit it down in there. So we'll take the original object, not not the bottom, but rather the the, the sides, and we will let's make sure we save that. Yeah. So let's keep it simple here. We've got our that's our original that's going to sit on top of here. And then once that's 3D printed, you're going to set it on top of here. So let's take the um, the outer line. We're going to duplicate it. And we're going to make him an inner line. And um, we're going to make him a, a line width of two. And you see, put him inside there. And that's where the magic happens. We're going to make him, say, four millimeters tall. And check this out. You can grab it and let's see if I can do this right. Uh, grab it and just slide it up 
we had 1.5. This one, we got to do a little math here. So this one was uh, 1.5. This one was 2. So I would put him maybe at like, if you want just like a little lip, maybe put him at 4. I think that's good. Um, and then that's it. You've got your little lip to put in there. Last thing to do is take this and uh, group everything so that it print when you get ready to 3D print it, you know, you'll print it just like this. You probably need some supports in there. Um, I'll go back to white on that to so we'll make everything in there uh, black. But that's that's all you got to do. And then when you're done, um, here we'll go ahead and move this guy over here. And we'll move him up to uh, two millimeters, I think. No, I think it was it was one and a half, wasn't he? So, yeah, you'll just want to, you know, put him on there. Um, L for one. Align in the centers like that. There you go. And you'll just, I uh, think there's still a half mil millimeter gap in here, maybe. You have to play around with that. But anyway, that's that's how you do it. And then, you know, you'll, you'll group these together, send them to your printer. Um, you know, you'll do a layer, or if you use an, I guess an A1, it'll, or, or with an AMS, it'll, it'll know at 1.5. You'll have to do some math on your layer heights too, but uh, that'll print this, and it will go in here. Oh, we got to add a hole. You need a hole for the, um, for the uh, wiring that's going to go in here. So we're just going to grab a little cylinder, come over here. Um, he only needs to be. You can make this like I don't know, five millimeters tall. But um, he only needs to be like, say, uh, you know, five by five. And there's your there's your hole for the um, for the uh, for the wiring to go through. Let's move him down just a little bit. And there he is. Okay, so we'll do that, and then we'll make him a. Um, Make them a hole. And while he's selected, just hit shift and select the box and group them together. And boom, got a hole in there. Should be a hole. It should be a hole. I think it's a hole. Yeah, there it goes. Took my PC a second to catch up. So, yeah, you can make that maybe bigger or smaller, uh, however you want to. But anyway, that's how you do a lip inside of a box for a light box. And I hope that helps.